I say this with peace and love to my new beautiful listeners and my current subscribers that to stay up to date on my latest breaking news and coin updates, you need to hit that subscribe button. It's very important and hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date on this ever-changing cryptocurrency market. Peace and love. Trends is gold crypto investing and on this early uh, mid-morning update, actually almost noon update here as I slept in today because I did not have to go to work. And I appreciate that you guys watched my uh, slot machine video last night. The crypto casino is back. And we're going to maybe do it once a week. And I'm going to get an affiliate link if you guys want to gamble with me at the live crypto casino. And also, we're going to smoke a little hashish and a little bit of mota, right? As we have our new pipe. And we call it uh, Wesley Pipes Jr., and if anybody knows where the original Wesley Pipes came from, you just let me know down in the comment section, right? And uh, you'll earn a couple of stickers and channel awards by under, by knowing where Wesley Pipes came from. Man, let's use Wesley Pipes, man. So that's Wesley Pipes uh, Jr. And you can see the Bitcoin prize. The Bitcoin prize. The Bitcoin price. The fucking Bitcoin price, Vincenzo. You can see we broke down beautifully out of our mini falling rising channel right here, our mini bear flag right there. And the technical target was there to the point of a breakout, which got you right down into this area. And now we're tagging the old all-time high. And that's a critical area that we're tagging right now. Hold on, I had to hit Wesley Pipes Jr. You could see we're hitting the old all-time high. And this is where there could be some buyers coming in. And also, it could, the buyers might not be there and the sellers might be too strong. And it drives the price all the way back down towards a regional double bottom from when we had the great dump back there. And then we had that nice rally where everybody was getting excited again. And all the charlatans were saying the Bitcoin price was going to go up to about 40000 And old Vincenzo had a top end potential of about twenty seven, twenty eight thousand, right? And we got up to on this run... 25,000, just below 25,000, right? So what we got to watch out for in the Bitcoin price today is uh, is there going to be any kind of a substantial bounce off of this area or are we going to actually breach it when we zoom in closer? You can see right now we're threatening to breach this. And if we breach this 19,000, you're coming right down to the top part of the last line of defense to the shit house, right? So that's what we got to watch out for today. Are any buyers going to come in here? You can see initially it tried to bounce twice. You can see that it touched it, bounced, came back down, bounced, came back down. And now are we going to bounce back up and have one of these things kind of take off like that to the upside, right? We've seen these a lot before, the way these formations work. Or are we going to fizzle out and we're going to, ah, I just deleted something I didn't want to. Or are we going to fizzle out and then trade on down to the downside? And that's what we're watching out for in the Bitcoin price. If we go to the XRP price, this is just going to be a quick morning update. The XRP price, if we zoom out to the hour time frame, you can see we broke down out of this beautiful rising channel too. But we first had a little bit of a fake out that we were watching out for to come tag the 37 cents as a back test to confirm a breakdown, which often but not always happens when you're doing something like that, where you flush, then you trade back up, tag a major resistance point confirm it to the downside and that confirms a breakdown. And that's exactly what happened there. And that's exactly the area that we're in now. And you can see the target and move out of this little rising uh, channel that you had is all the way down here in the middle of this blue supply zone that we've been talking about between 30 and 32 cents. And we're sitting there subtly above that right now, waiting for some momentum to come back in. And if the momentum comes in bearish, you're coming down to that 30 to 32 cents. And that's what I'm watching out for you today. Uh, I see, I asked a few of you guys some of the coins that you own. And in the next update, we're going to get in the Raven coin. AGIX, uh, and then some of these other coins that my beautiful audience members have. Where are they at? Let's go in here. And I thank a few of you for subscribing. We picked up about four subscribers last night. I really, really appreciate that, right? That is a big, big thing for you, my beautiful audience, to do for me to help me move this channel along and to get more viewers is by subscribing and sharing. And in the next video, uh, Crypto Mark. Too bad Crypto Mark doesn't make any videos, you fuck. Crypto Mark, a great uh, crypto insider over there, he doesn't make any videos, right? 
but you can see uh we got we're gonna do for is um, i don't want to i'm gonna butcher that name my man xrp sniper i believe is your the name i know you by i don't want to butcher that name i'm gonna get into some raven coin and agix for you and you are asking for uh are four zeros realistic point a bunch of zeros and a nine in agix i'll give you an update on that my man thank you for supporting the channel mark i asked you uh yesterday what kind of coins you were having uh let's see we got to click that off let's find these comments uh hello xrp future millionaire uh let's see i asked this guy what kind of coins do you have let's see where they're at i just seen them this morning why is this being so difficult now Ah, uh, shit. I don't know where they went. I don't know why it's so hard to find comments after. Uh, but you just got to believe me. Uh, these guys. There we go. Uh, maybe it's in here. No. I'm going to have to find these, what they posted. There we go. VXV. We're going to get into that one. If that's a crypto. That just fascinates me that I can't find stuff that I just sent to people yesterday, right? In the comment section. Oh, there we go. So you can see Mark Kelly, XRP, which we just did, Cardano, XLM, we've already done, we're going to do. So we're going to get Cardano, VT, PLSX, Matic, and a little Ethereum for this guy. We're going to get into that a little bit later. And then I had another guy here tell me what coins that he has, and we're going to get into some of those, but I thank each and every one of you for following. And speaking of the XLM, we'll get into a little XLM one right now. As you know, the XLM is in one of my top five coins to own for 2023 and 2024. And you can see now we've hit exactly beautifully back onto this 10 and a half cent support level. And in this coin, if we break this 10 and a half cents in XLM, the next blue FIP circle is 2.618, and that's way down there. And your first any kind of support you would get is the top part of the shit house, all the way down here at about 0 0.07. So this is a critical spot for the XLM price. Uh, can you hold that, or are you coming all the way down here to this 0.7 or seven cents area? If you can get some buyers, you could try to bounce back up into here, which is very unlikely this weekend. Which more likely is you have a huge dump to the downside. And that's what I'm going to pay attention for for you, my beautiful audience. And the XLM price is down there near that 2.618 Fibonacci. And with our industry exclusive channel exclusive measuring tool, that's about a 25% fall of your next support level, right? So that's what we're going to watch out for there. We'll give you a little Cardano love too. You can see Cardano is doing exactly what we thought it might do a few days ago. Is it's actually coming back to back test. This major falling channel that you've been in, you see this falling channel if you look left on the chart since the big blow off top, right? We're hitting that underneath support and we're tagging this to try to confirm a breakout right here, right? And to confirm a breakout now, after you've broke out, hit a resistance zone, came back down, to confirm a breakout, you'd want to bounce back up and breach this old high in a quick fashion, which I don't think you're going to do. I think this is actually going to slip all the way back down into this channel and come on down near that 28 cents, right? I think that's what's going to go on. I think that's where uh, the Cardano price is headed. And I believe there's very, very low Cardano prices coming up, right? And I think that's what's going to be going on uh, in Cardano in the immediate macro time frame or micro time frame. I think this is not going to hold and you're going to have a big, big fall back into this channel. Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Peace and love. Peace and love.